Alrighty then, here we are with the Sunny again. Um, today we're going to put in some electronic ignition. Pretty simple little system, AccuSpark. It's just this little gizmo here, comes with instructions and a pretty simple wiring diagram. Might have to make one wire, I think. So they're, they're pretty easy to put in. And uh, what happens, you, take, you remove the points all together and this goes down over the shaft underneath the rotor button and that goes where the points used to be that's got magnets in it and this thing here reads when the uh, when the magnet goes past tells the coil when to fire which is a good thing so no more dwell angles no more pissing around with points what it does do the best thing that it does do though is it um, gives you the ability to take the points in your hand and arc your arm back and take them into the distance so which is where all points should be, going back to their natural habitat in the dirt somewhere. You can give them the finger on the way past if you feel like, that's up to you. Alrighty, so why is the car jacked up? Because I'm not as young as I used to be. So yeah, and we lowered it, it's a long way down now. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> anyway, so let's get stuck into it and um, yeah, we'll get it fired up. This should improve the starting and improve the idle and improve a lot of things. Gives them more power too. And it's dead easy to do. Highly recommend it. So by the process of elimination and reading the instructions and then turning the instructions up the right way and reading them again, I'm not an electrical guy, we've worked out that this red wire needs to go to here and the black wire, which is down here, needs to go to the negative on the coil and then she should be ready to go. Both will need extending to get to where we need to go. I figure we'll go over here and then up across here and then back down again. So I'll figure out what we need to do and then away we go, make some wires up. So that black wire there now runs across here, down there and plugs into this red wire. And the black wire actually, the original wire that was plugged onto here goes now to the negative. What went to the negative before? Um, and that we've just basically plugged it into the end and screwed that back on. So. If we put that into there, this should work. I can hear now. <laughs> Al from Skid Factory is crying into his beard. It's got more than two wires, Al. It's freaking me out. All right, while we're fiddling around under the bonnet, I thought that I uh, might as well check the torque on the um, on the head because the, the, the mechanic in Japan was su uh, supposed to have changed the head gasket all the gaskets, whether he did or he didn't, I don't know. Whether if he did, because it never got driven over there, then they would definitely need to be retorked by now. So um, I thought we'd pop off the rocker cover and get in there and have a bit of a go. According to the 1200 wiki, which is the one of the handiest pieces of information around the place, if we've got a 12 on the head bolts, then these should be done up to uh, 40 to 43 pound feet. Got the big boy going. So we set it to 42 and we'll see how we go from here. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty good. I wonder what the clearances are are supposed to be on the valves. Well, the engine's warm, let's do them. All right, again, According to the Datsun 1200 wiki, our hot clearance is 0.35 millimetres, or 14 thou. Okay, so the term there is loose turbuggery. Oh, my back. Head check, valve clearance is done. Got some new sparks in. Okay, let's see how this goes. And that's all back together. So you're taking a bit of a shot at that one. I, I don't know whether it's going to work or not. Um, we'll have to get the timing light onto it, but first of all, let's see if it starts. Got to turn the auto choke on first. <laughs> AL, what do you reckon, mate? <laughs> Depressor's accelerator to floor, and... Hey, it goes. 
pretty pleased with that. Time to hook up ye oldie. And I do mean old. Uh, this one's got a switch for 6 volt. If you want to go with that. Somebody switched it to 6 volt. I've done that, I don't know. Spark plug side on number 1. Consult Datsun 1200 Club. Datsun 1200 uses base timing of 5 degrees or 7 degrees. Total timing is 30 degrees plus 2 degrees. So five or seven, so in there somewhere. Thank you, Dustin 1200 Wiki. Let's find out where we are. Oh, yeah, that's a bit advanced. <laughs> like, not even on the scars, about 30. Yeah, just, that's as far as it goes. So we're gonna have to take that out and, and move the adjuster on it. We can get it down to about 14 and it's at the end of the travel on the uh, on the distributor. That's got to come out. Seems to be quite happy starting though. Very happy. Kick in the guts and, and we've hooked up the timing light. Away we go. See where we are. It sounds happier already. Okay we're on about 15. Whoa! At basically zero, so that's too far. Alright, that's seven there. Seven degrees, so let's lock it all up, take for a drive. Let's see how she goes. Does better for a start. Straight up, you can see it. Idles better. It's still cold. It's actually running really well. Doesn't have that tick, tick, tick sound that it did have uh, anymore. Mind you, I've only just started and idled it, so it has actually cooled down a little since uh, I did those. So. Uh, today we achieved precisely nothing of what I originally set out to do which was the front shocks. But then the, um, the ignition turned up earlier than expected and that's a pretty easy sort of a fit and fix. And then while we're under there, we thought, oh, you know, let's do the head bolts. And then when we did the head bolts, let's, you know, you know how it works. So uh, we're back here tomorrow. Um, and I'm thinking, instead of doing those, <laughs> I might put this in that, that Ray made us uh, because we've got no tunes in the car at the moment. Well, we have because of the trusty old boom box. Um, but we can't take phone calls and anything, which we should be able to do with that one. So we might do that tomorrow and, and leave the shock store next weekend. But yeah pretty happy that's that's been a good day so uh, see you next time wrong way <laughs>